Hi everybody, it's Deb, it's day 69, uh, I think. Oh, it's Friday. Is it? No, it's not, it's Thursday. <laughs> I'm sorry, I really don't know what day it is. Um, I'm guessing it's day 69, that works for me. And the word of the day is patience. Um, that's a great word. It, it so suits today, patience. I've gotten very patient in my older age, much opposed to what my daughter is, who has not developed much patience, but that's another story. This has been just a roller coaster day. Um, started off without my cup of coffee, had some tea, felt really tired, and I didn't want to, well actually I didn't even attribute that to coffee until maybe one o'clock when I thought, gosh, I really feel tired. I didn't know if it was no coffee or taking Tylenol PM the night before. Excuse me. <sighs> anyway, I'm still tired. Um, I'm having brain farts too. Excuse me. <laughs> um, and so since I was tired this morning, I wasn't in the optimum mood, and my first two clients came boom, boom, right there together, and they were brand new, and things weren't going well, and they weren't going terrible, they just weren't going well, you know, not perfectly. And then my third client came a half hour early because she thought she was supposed to be there at 10.30, and she was really supposed to be there at 11, so then there's this backup of clients, which, you know, when your day starts off like that, it, it just, oh, it's roughy-tuffy. I don't think that's a word. Anyways, it just makes you feel kind of a little stressed out. So by the time my next client got there, which she was actually early too, I was tired already because that had been, what, she was number four and it was already, it was only 11.30. So, uh, fortunately, I had lunch right after that. I don't know where I was going with that, except that it was just a roller coaster kind of day. Lunch. Oh, lunch, yes. Got the call from my daughter that she'd overdrawn her checking account and she was mad at the bank. <laughs> I love that about younger people. So I looked online to see what she had done and explained that it was her fault that she had was overdrawn the bank and she was none too happy about that and didn't want to hear it. And asked me to go take care of it. Super mom. So, uh, and she wanted me to check to see if her driver's license was still suspended because today was supposed to be the day it wasn't suspended anymore. So super mom went and did all the super mom stuff and got the bank to reverse half the charges and explain why it all happened, etc., etc., other than the fact that she uses her debit card for every itty-bitty little thing, $1.71, 203 ugh, why doesn't she pay cash? Anyways, I finally decided I needed some caffeine, had a lovely Dr. Pepper. I perked up a little bit. But it was just interesting how the day kind of went in cycles, you know, up cycles, down cycles, up cycles, down cycles. I had clients until 8.10. I started the day at 9.30, so that was a long day. By the time I was done, I was feeling, you know, life is awesome. I have a good life. I really do have a good life. had a really good day at work. Um, I did more business in the last two days than, I mean, heck, my week when it started out had like $300 worth on it, and I did 700 in the last two days. So, obviously, they were good, busy days. So, you know, as I was heading on home, I was feeling pretty good. My son called, said he'd cooked spaghetti and needed me to get some Parmesan cheese. Life was good. Heading on home. And I get home and there's this box. Boxes, you know, sometimes those are good things and sometimes this one I just knew was not a good thing. I looked at where it was from. It was from Santa Cruz. Yeah, Santa Cruz. Santa Cruz is where I sent my holistic healthcare practitioner course off to. I sent my course off to Santa Cruz. And I sent a lot of stuff off to Santa Cruz and a certificate would not come in a big box unless they were giving me a big frame to go with it. No, this was a box like all of your stuff's inside. I really didn't want to open it. I would actually stand in there with the scissors going, I don't want to open this. And I opened it and all my coursework was inside. 
and it said return to sender wrong address yeah but it was sent from <laughs> the school yeah so trust me I called the number on the box and it wasn't very nice well I wasn't really really mean I was just being a perturbed person saying why did you send back all my coursework because there wasn't even a letter no note no nothing just there's all my coursework three years worth of coursework and my little product just right there part of my vision board there was so it's like great I sent that off <laughs> they sent it all back with no note only wrong address well all of my information says that's the right address and in, the phone numbers in my book match the phone number I called from the people who sent it back to me so I was confused so I left them a message and then I sent a message I went online and looked up the name of my school which is now located in Wisconsin not Santa Cruz even though all the phone numbers for my school in my book match the school in Santa Cruz that has a slightly different name so anyways I emailed the people in Wisconsin and they said well you sent it to the wrong address and I was like well technically no I sent it to the right address and it got forwarded to the wrong address but anyways they said if I mail it up to Wisconsin they'll go ahead and grade it but it was just you know one another one of those moments when you're like why is life so difficult why can't it be easy this was just done I finally did it I was so proud of myself and they send it back to me and I have to send it back out again so anyways then I watched um, Shelley's Turo reading video that was great I loved it and Sally we're all there for you whenever you need us <laughs> and all the advice you got I think I think you got it now because there was some good advice there especially Nicole's video I love that one too perfect card Nicole so anywho that's how my day went and the uh, word of the day just fits patience if I had just been patient about my coursework and not called these people and said what the heck are you doing I mean granted they'll understand why I'm irate but I if I had just been patient and looked around well no I don't still wouldn't have figured that all out except for the email to the school in Wisconsin that's the only one that solved the question and if my daughter was patient and would just look at her bank statement and realize how much money she was spending then she wouldn't have got all bent out of shape patience is such a good thing you know it's what they say about the Texas weather if you don't like it is what it is right at the moment be patient it'll change in a minute so anyways enough of that Life is wonderful, awesome, and good, and I'm having a wonderful ride. So, talk to y'all tomorrow. Oh, I had to add one more thing. I forgot to mention. I thought of it earlier. Um, I had traded some furniture for a car well over a year ago, and every time I asked about the title, nothing ever happened. Well, today, after my second, third, third client, there was an envelope under the door, and wouldn't you know it, there was the title to my car in the envelope on the floor under my door ha! pretty funny huh anyways life does give you some fun stuff bye